think it's important to share your gifts because we all have such unique gifts that um, we all bring something special to the church and it's important to share that and showcase that. I, I can think of the most recent time that I was able to, to help out. Um, Jeff Brenninger asked me if I would be able to help serve for the women's dinner and first I said no I, I can't do that and make it that night but then after I thought about it I said you know maybe I should do that and it was a very long day um, at work and as I came I was exhausted but I helped and uh, interestingly enough I felt rejuvenated after that so I think that e even you know though you're doing good for other people you're also uh, helping yourself and, and that's a blessing too. Support in, in both time and gifts is kind of the lifeblood of any church or organization. If that would falter, we're probably not doing our best and in the community and also just in our church family. You come to a church to learn to know God and hope God's with you, and part of that is providing money to run us so more people can get the Word of God. I believe it's what God wants us to do. And with donating of our time and our, our monetary gifts, we can help um, programs be successful here. We can inspire young people to become involved. We can inspire new churchgoers. Um, I think that when you um, give of yourself, God blesses you. And I have seen that in my life a lot. I'm grateful. God specifically gave you a gift and he was gracious enough to help you realize what it was and I think that it's your job in return to use it. Well I believe we were made by God in the image of God so that we can glorify God so everything we're meant to do. This topic is near and dear to my heart because the previous church we attended for many years I was the finance chair for five years and I learned through that position that it takes a lot more money to run and operate a church effectively than most people realize. It's no different than a small business. There's uh, salaries and benefits to pay. There are all the utilities to pay. There's a tremendous amount of uh, upkeep of facilities and maintenance. And that doesn't even count all the programs that are ongoing all the time that take money. So. It takes a lot of money, and it, that money needs to be paid out every week and every month throughout the entire year. On the other hand, it also takes a lot of people. Um, most churches, like Trinity, is understaffed as far as paid staff. So the programs that people come to expect at a church and they want takes volunteers. And it, in this church, it takes a lot of volunteers to do all the programs. The church basically is the members. So members get out of this church what other members or themselves put into it. So it takes money and it takes a lot of hands. You know, we were told to take care of each other. That's part of being a Christian family. We are told to go out and you know make missions and make disciples of the world, and the only way you do that is to give. Because money. God wants us to be there to reach out to be role models, and if we don't give our time, who's going to show the next generation? Who's going to show people what God wants of His people? I feel like it's important to share your gifts with the church because really we're all one big body and you know without each part of the body working or doing its part um, the body doesn't work as well. Oh, if we didn't support Trinity with our time and gifts there would be no programming. But I also like to think that when we, we give of our time and our monies we're doing it for God and it's God's work here on earth.
I have a little saying that I have hanging on my refrigerator that says, you make a living by what you get, but you make a life by what you give.